who arrived in NYC, the capital of money. I went to the church. I'm not really too sure for a church. You can Google it. I went to Mass, received the Holy Sacraments. I spent a long time in New York City for a while. But in visiting the churches, I got to spend time with Christ in prayer, praying to my God, saying, God, deliver me from evil. Deliver the church from evil. Walking around, I witnessed the state of dilapidation. People sleeping in subways and in the churches. I spend most of my time in church asking God for mercy so that I'll be the sinner that repented. There were two sinners on the cross. One said, I will not repent. The other said, I will repent in Jesus' name. I spend my time in church. Beloved, this has to be our home. I walked around New York, entered the subway, went up to Harlem, took some time off to see life in New York City. The violence, the crime, the drugs, the murderings, the fornications, the lust, the sodomy. I took my time walking around the city, going back to church, receiving the Holy Eucharist and going to confession. What makes Catholicism great is the ability to go to confession. That confession was a purifier. And then after a few days or maybe a few weeks, I left New York City for Albany. I was to go to Stockbridge, Massachusetts. In this year of divine mercy, the Pope has had in the Pope had instructed us to make a pilgrimage. I decided to go to the Shrine of Divine Mercy since I had a, de a devotion to Sister Faustina. So I sat on the bus listening to liberals and New Yorkers and mid-Atlantic species talking about Shakespeare. I enjoy reading Shakespeare and what irked me was the fact that they say Shakespeare should be gender fluid. They had women playing men's parts and men playing women's parts. I imagined Ophelia and Hamlet. And I imagined Romeo and Juliet being played by two bearded men. And I imagined Julius Caesar and his wife, Calpurnia. Caesar being a woman, Calpurnia being a man. And I imagined in the tempest. Then I decided to myself they were destroying everything. Their breed of life and their brand of ideological existence is out of bunk. A type that is filtered in hell for all eternity to be scourged by God's wrath. I couldn't bear this nonsense because I appreciate Shakespeare. But the mind of a simplistic person cannot understand that there's a delicate balance between the genders, that we have man and woman for a reason. Even dogs and pigs and owls and geese, geezers that creep and crawl have man and woman for a reason. I don't have to explain it. New Jersey, Domus, dormitory, offer a breathtaking Respite from New York City. Wide open spaces. O oh God who created the trees. And the bus churned. And the bus churned.
we are right in Albany. And once again, I was faced with a conundrum. I don't have enough resources. How am I going to get to Stockbridge? How am I going to do this? And I say to myself with the good old Latin word, Deus providebit. God will provide. Did not God provide to Abraham, Isaac, and Joseph? God will provide, I say to myself. Though I said it to myself, inside of me, I was like, okay, what's going to happen here? So I got off the bus, and as usual, prayed the rosary, sitting in mid-daylight, watching people walk by and go about their lives. 